So let's go take a look at the home lab. So we're gonna go downstairs. So ground level is right about here. So as soon as we get down the stairs, we'll be underground. This door here goes to the secret lab. So we're not going in there. Uh, this is a mechanical room, which has the UPS um, 8KVA uh, APC Symmetry UPS. Um, that's hooked up to these panels here, so power comes in. Uh, and this panel is fed to the UPS, and then everything out of the UPS goes to this panel, which then feeds the server racks in the room, the network rack, uh, a couple closets in my office upstairs. And then there's a little bypass switch there to bypass uh, the UPS entirely, all the wiring included. And um, then there's power feed here for that bypass. So if you want to bypass it to replace it, easy to do. Uh, those panels there have um, the IoT watts, which have little CT clamps through conduits and on every single circuit in all of the panels in the house. So you can track kilowatt usage of well, everything you're uh, doing. So the UPS is humming away. You can see it has a red light on it because of course one of the batteries is bad, which every three years seems to happen in these APCs. Uh, some spare switches in case something goes bad. And then we'll go over here. We have a little kiosk monitor here that shows a couple of different things. So this is the rack temperature temperature outside, server room temperature, some other things, some ping time to different services, um, a few weather related things. And so this kiosk will oscillate between this and a uh, power output display that sort of shows some information there. So we're currently drawing 10.59 kilowatts, uh, nine from the grids. We have a little bit of solar generation, although it's evening. Uh, UPS output 3.7 kilowatts because not a lot of stuff turned on yet. Having just finished doing some rewiring so we can see our phase AB there and then a bunch of other things. Um, so we can use this to keep track of where all the juice is going. Uh, so the server is behind this door and it's relatively quiet out here. The door is really well sealed and this is all concrete. So uh, you really don't hear it back there at all until you open the door. And so there we are. This is the little lab. We have a little monitor here that also runs a display with some Proxmox stats on it normally. Uh, so we have two cabinets switches up top. Uh, this side here is really more storage related stuff, live, live drives, a couple backup servers. There's a four node uh, Proxmox cluster there and a second two node below that. Um, these ones are all SSDs. Um, they're for the VM storage system, um, Arista 10 gig switches, which are all these go back to the server racks and into the other servers. And then this one's some more application stuff. Uh, there are four compute servers there. They're all dual Xeon, um, half terabyte of RAM, used for different compute jobs, uh, another VM server, and some more storage and ZFS servers, and then some more switches for the generic switching, the white and the black go to each server in pairs for LACP, and then the yellows are the IPMI ports. Uh, and then these are fiber connected to the main rack over there. Uh, there's a little console area here. This is a screen, keyboard, and mouse connected to a set of KVMs. They connect all 32 machines in here. Um, and then a little drawer with the most important thing you need. Lots of optics, because you never have enough optics. Uh, rack here has some house wiring stuff in it. So uh, 10 gig core switch, all these fibers go over to the rack over there. Some of the single mode fibers go to two other closets that are upstairs. Um, and then a few other locations, some switches, PoE switches for cameras and a few APs. Um, and then up here on the auto routers are actually running PF Sense that are not on yet, but will be soon. Weather station, and of course lasers. Watch out for lasers. Uh, the back of the rack, pretty simple. A couple servers that are not, they are more desktop boxes. Uh, the rest are all regular servers, dual power supply. Most of them are configured with two sort of primary internet connections, Ethernet, and then an IPMI, and then two internal 10 gigs going to the storage array. Um, so pretty simple stuff here. We did alternating red power cables on the left and black on the right. So every server's connected to each of the two banks. So there's two phases. Uh, these are the APC PDUs. Uh, and then of course switches up there. And uh, yeah, that's sort of the main parts of it. There is a little door there. That's where the Oompa Loopas live. So let's leave them alone. And uh, that's about it. That shows you my uh, home lab.